Hi guys, welcome to another Hui4 video. Have you ever wondered how quickly you can actually create Imperial Federation? Well, today I'm gonna answer that question. Let's start with obviously 1936 start, regular difficulty, historical focuses on, and this time Iron Man mode on. I know, very rare. Let's select every single division, let's delete the cavalry divisions, as well as the light tech division. I'm gonna send them to the UK and I'm gonna shift and exercise them. Let's go for basic machine tools, construction 1, mechanical computing and support weapons 1. I'm gonna start by building military factories in Gloucestershire and also in East Anglia. The first focus I'm gonna take is a change in course. As for the production, I'm just gonna put one factory on artillery and support equipment. No ships, no tanks, and also no planes. Just guns. Obviously, I will produce convoys. And let's instantly dismantle our faction, and let's request forces from all of our puppets. I'm gonna take the armies of four of my dominions and put them into one army, while the divisions from British Malaya and British Raj will be in a separate army. Let's send the ones from the Dominions right here, while the ones from the British Malay and British Raj will go right here. Also, my first army is gonna guard the Gloucestershire pretty much. We're almost ready, but first let's delete every single air wing. Also, let's merge our gigantic navy. And I'm gonna send them to, like, Portsmouth. And now we can start. In the meantime, we could go for local police force to save them some guns. May he rest in peace. We finished the first focus. Now let's organize the black shirts. I'm gonna deny Ethiopia. And the troops from British Raj and Alea have arrived. Let's take seven of them and let's give them a fall decline in Labrador. As for the remaining six, they're gonna have fall decline like this. And also we're gonna give up on Turkey. We're not gonna back them up. Because with that way we lose 5% stability. And we really don't need that stability to be too high. And we organize the black shirts. Next focus is reinforce the empire. Now I can do all these marches, but I really won't do them yet. I want to finish focus reinforce the empire first. Because in order to do this focus we need to have at least one subject, and if that condition is not met it doesn't get bypassed, it just gets cancelled. So yeah, we have to have some subjects. We do not care about the Netherlands. Let's research concentrated industry 1 and also improve machine tools. Anyway, I already made a mistake. I should have hired a military guy, Army Maneuver Genius, because he gives us 15% division speed and also 0.4% daily army experience. Edward VIII Abdication Crisis. I'm not gonna click on this option, I'm just gonna let it auto-click in two weeks. We're about to reinforce the Empire, so let's hold our first march in Gloucestershire. We reinforced it. Next focus is service overseas. And now we lost 8% stability. Next, let's hold a march in East Anglia. I'm picking these states because they have the smallest victory points. Only 5 here and 5 here. For example, London has 50 victory points. That's under 6% stability gone, now let's do it in Wales. I shouldn't have done it in Wales, I could have done something very funny otherwise, it doesn't matter. 56% stability and now let's do it in the East Midlands as well. We now have 40% stability and you probably know what this means. Oh no, we now got over 50%. Oh, that's a bad RNG. Well, in that case, let's do it in a state like Northern Ireland, I guess. Once again, below 50% and here's the Civil War. We got 10 militia divisions, so let's put them into the first army. This is the main army, let's give them a general. It doesn't matter which one, and also let's give them a field marshal. We just have to know which troops are the good ones. I'm instantly going to create a new template. It's just going to be one cavalry battalion. Save, and let's put a bunch of these into training as well. Like 30 or so. As for these divisions, look at this. We now control this. Let's instantly declare war on South Africa, and also on Canada. Now I have to manually send these divisions to victory points, like Halifax, Quebec, Montreal, Ottawa... Toronto and maybe, maybe, just maybe Winnipeg. And this is gonna be enough. Also, I have to slow down my game now, pretty much. And also, micro basically begins right here. I'm gonna send half of my army to the northern front, another half to the southern front. And the same thing with the expeditionary troops from four of my dominions. Also, achievement unlocked the Empire Strikes Pact. What? Let's quickly deploy all of our air force, air superiority, close air support, and southern England is where they're gonna operate. The end of the League of Nations, of course. Now I basically have to snipe for the victory points. Oh yeah, as for the South Africa, I have to send my troops into their territory as well. Hopefully we can at least take their capital. At best we can capitulate them. The reason why I'm doing this is because they're really tricky to get into the Peace Conference, because they remain dominions. On the other hand, Australia and New Zealand for some reason get demoted to a colony. I don't know why. Here's the very first encirclement, let's annihilate it. Also, if you think this is strange, trust me, I know. I'm basically fighting against Canada and at the same time using Canadian troops for my own good. Makes no sense. They're calling them back, but they're gonna be at least here for another month or so. Let's keep pushing into the southwestern England. And our very first encirclement is now 
destroyed. Oh look, we overran enemy division. Nice. And that's gonna be another four divisions gone, with the addition of taking Dower. Birmingham is also encircled. And let's finally take Cornwall. And that's it. We basically consolidated the south and central England and Wales. And we managed to take Pretoria, which is amazing. South Africa is not so far away from capitulating now. In my test runs, I didn't even have to take Cape Town. I just had to take Durban and Port Elizabeth and some more provinces, and that's basically enough. Also, I gave my guys here trucks, so they have slightly less bad supplies, basically. If you manage to take the city of Quebec, it's gonna be much easier. UK is still pretty far away from capitulating, so let's make some pushes. Alright, that's good enough for now. We took Leeds, Sheffield, Hull and Manchester, so yeah. Now let's do the thing. You might wonder what do I mean by that. I'm gonna show you what in a moment. So, we got 29 of these divisions which are from my dominions. I'm gonna basically take all of them except for the ones from the South Africa and from the Canada, which are gonna be sent to, I guess, Norwich. Remaining 10, which are from Australia and New Zealand, are gonna be sent to some Plains province right here. Also, let's deploy the cavalry divisions in Nottingham. Let's give them a general, and these divisions will basically go to the front line. They will replace the actual divisions, which are there now. But the regular divisions will be put here, surrounding this province right here, from eight sides, basically. They're in position, I'm just gonna wait for them to reorganize. How are we doing in Canada? We're about to take this port in a couple of hours, and here we are. We now finally have supplies here. As for the South Africa, there's some troops here, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, I think we're ready. Let's send our planes to the southern England. It's also the Quran British Raj, which has a random Asian leader, which has English name Kirill Plummer, isn't that Bulgarian name? Also British Malaya, as well as British Australia. Yeah, look at this, they're now a colony. And New Zealand is now a dominion, which might be a problematic one. Anyway, let's delete these 10 divisions, and now they are basically the enemy divisions. One hour has passed, and they control this territory. Now what we're gonna do is take the first army and basically just destroy them. They're completely encircled, they don't have supplies, they're attacked from the 8 sides, they're in the plains, and we have air superiority here. So they're getting completely annihilated. I guess I'm gonna improve artillery also. As you can see, these divisions are getting melted. Oh, the remaining divisions are of Australia, so I don't have to really destroy them, I can just stop. Anyway, let's keep taking cities in the Canada, as well as in South Africa. And we managed to lose Pretoria, amazing. Anyway, we finished service overseas, let's now encourage colonial elite. We managed to take Port Elizabeth, which means we now have supplies. The enemies have left the Pretoria, so let's pin them and let's take Pretoria finally. We took Pretoria back, and there is a division in Cape Town. Great. And they're not planning on leaving. That's even better. Let's try to take Durban then. We really have to take some other city as well. How are we doing in Canada? We took Ottawa and Montreal, as well as Halifax. I think we only need Toronto now to capitulate them. Let's get the formation flying. Yes, Canada is not so far away from capitulating. Probably Toronto is going to be enough. And South Africa has capitulated. We also took the Toronto and I think Canada is gonna as well. Yeah, they capitulated too. And yeah, look at this. New Zealand is also colony now for some reason. It probably could do with either land lease or with the fact that we are actually using their divisions to fight against Britain, so they probably lose autonomy for that. I don't know exactly why this happens, but it does happen. So yeah, all we gotta do now is basically take out the UK. We could also destroy these Australian divisions now, it doesn't really matter. And they are gone. I could also take out the Canadian divisions. So yeah, let's do that. You can do this for some extra army experience and also air experience and also skill for your general. So yeah, let's exercise these divisions. Their orc is now down. And now let's delete them. And let's attack with these divisions, basically. Grand Encirclement. The game really thinks that I'm encircling divisions here. <laughs> and not cheesing. Look at this, 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Balanced as all things should be. And here we are. We took them out. Which means all I gotta do now is take out the UK, so let's go for... Newcastle, and in case they defend it, let's go for Edinburgh as well. Let's just check real quick. Are we at war with everyone? We are at war with everyone. And the countries we haven't touched are colonies. Yeah, New Zealand is a colony, as well as Australia, as well as British Raj. Mamalaya is even lower, it's actually a puppet. So let's go to the peace deal now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Every single country was touched. I'm gonna take all states of Australia, all states of Canada, all states of New Zealand, all states of South Africa, British Raj, and British Malaya. I can also take all the states of the UK, but I don't have to. I'm gonna take them after the peace deal anyway. Also, bonus thing you can actually do, don't do marches in Northern Ireland and Wales, and you can basically liberate all three of the countries, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales, and then you become Albion. Yeah, I know, right? The best thing is you don't even lose course, you can attack them again. 
Anyway, should I take all the states or no? Yeah, let's do it. War tension is fun to have. Confirm and exit. As you can see, we took 157 states. End of the British Civil War. And now all we gotta do is wait for Encourage Colonial Elite to end. Oh no, we're getting embargoed, so basically in October 1936 we're at 100% war tension. <laughs> By the way, look at this. One more day. Funny party popularity. And we encourage the Colonial Elite. And now look at this, every single focus down here is bypassed. Commonwealth ties, developed the Raj, all the other development focuses, and also called Imperial Conference. Which means we can instantly go for Imperial Federation in November 1936. So somewhere around mid-January 1937, we're gonna become the Imperial Federation. Here's the year 1937. By the way, you do lose Army Maneuver Genius Guy, just so you know, in the Civil War. Anyway, here we are, 20th of January, Imperial Federation, achievement locked, last for a thousand years. In January 1937, 20th of January to be more precise. So yeah, this is definitely the fastest possible Imperial Federation you can have. It's not physically or mathematically possible to have it any quicker than this, because you have to complete 6 focuses, out of which 5 are 70 day focuses and 1 is 35 days. At the end of the day, that's 385 days. As far as I'm aware, there's 365 days in a year. So there is no way you can do this in year 1936. You can basically do 20 days into the year 1937, which I just did right here. For now, at least for this update, there is no way you can do this faster, because you can't bypass any of these focuses. While this is extremely fast and it does buff your economy, manpower and whatnot, you got 70 million core pop, and you basically got a more powerful industry than the Soviet Union. However, I would not recommend you to do this. Why? Well, there is a way you can actually core all of the USA, and it's gonna take you like an extra year or so at most. It's much better coring the entire USA. After you're done the Imperial Federation focus, there is no way you can add additional cores from the Imperial Federation, so yeah. If you're wondering how you can do that, check my United Kingdom challenge video, where I conquered a bunch of stuff even before 1938. However, if you do want the quickest possible Imperial Federation, then yeah, do what I did. Oh, and by the way, even if you annex those puppets, you still have their divisions. Look at this, seven Indian divisions here. Anyway, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Consider joining my Discord server if you want. And see you in the next one. Bye.